Hey, happy Sunday. Today's topic is what makes a stock great for investing? Um, it's going to be a series. So today is uh, a stock needs to have a great moat or a wide moat, I should say. So uh, if you're just joining me, if you've uh, not uh, met me before, my name is Tila Holcomb. I'm a trading and investment coach, and I teach you how to create a monthly income and build a financial legacy through trading and investing in the stock market. What I do not do is, I am not a financial advisor, so I cannot give you um, investment advice. I can't tell you where to invest your money. Um, so anything I recommend or um, mention in my broadcast is just educational purposes, and it's from my experience as a trader and investor and an effort to educate you on your uh, potential um, investments and opportunities to uh, invest. So today, um, the one thing or one of the things to look for to know whether a stock is great for investment purposes is whether it has a wide moat. Excuse me, my, my dog has to sit on my lap. Anyway, <laughs> so you want to know, if, you want to see if the the stock or the company has a wide moat. And what I mean by wide moat is something that is setting it so far from or so far apart from it, the competitors in this industry that it's it would take a lot for another company to um, advance as far and to actually take over their, um, sorry my kid is, doing whatever <laughs> but it would take a lot for another company to come in and basically take control of the industry and, and get into the forefront of the industry um, that's important because you know that's where most everyone is spending their their money at you know that that's the go-to company so they are not um, they there's no concern whether the another company is gonna come in and take over uh, that sh their share advantage um, some a couple of companies um, hold on I'll get to the companies let me talk about what to look for as far as the wide moat and the reason why it's referred to as a moat is just kind of given the analogy of a um, of a castle you know how a castle has a moat around it and it takes a lot for the enemy or <laughs> the competitor to get across that moat you get you've um, put in a gap uh, to set yourself apart from the enemy or the competitor and in the instance of um, companies and stock their moat the what they use as their moat or to separate them apart from other companies would be uh, their brand whether it's their brand logo their image um, their commercials whether it's their technology maybe they are using a um, certain technology that makes their product or their service experience that much better than another company's it could also be their design like how is their store laid out how are they structured it could also be marketing channels so what are they using that makes them uh, marketing wise that makes them either makes their product cheaper um, makes their product um, higher quality those different things are things you want to look for when you're trying to identify if a stock is uh, great for long-term investing and whether it has a moat it, you know kind of built in intrinsically built into it um, you also want to look at customer loyalty is that somewhere where people like constantly go when you think about going to buy X item what store goes um, you know comes to mind for most consumers that is considered a, a moat because the company has um, positioned itself to where the first thing you think about is th them you know you think about them when you um, let's see one example is when I say I want a coke I'm really talking about coca-cola like coca-cola has positioned itself to where coke has become the name for soft drinks you know that's just what people refer to it as as a coke whether they may mean a different kind of soft drink they may not necessarily mean a coca-cola but they position themselves to the point where that is the term that is used is coke I want a coke um, well, what kind of coke do you want <laughs> so that's just one one um, example of how a company creates a moat around itself and 
basically becomes a, a good um, long-term stock. Um, another company would be Tiffany. When most people think of jewelry and, you know, something that they're going to you know, give their girlfriend or their wife or whatever. Uh, a lot of people think of Tiffany. Tiffany has become known for its signature blue, which is my favorite color, by the way. But they've become known for that signature blue and having a um, a line of jewelry that is um, seen as high quality and prestigious and, you know, things like that. So that is a moat that they've kind of created around themselves that when people think of jewelry, Tiffany is one of the first companies that comes to mind. Um, another company is WD-40. Stick with me here on this. <laughs> WD-40, um, think about it. They are like, do you know any other company that has, like I, I when I think of um, my fence is squeaking or the door is, you know, squeaking or it's stuck, or, the first thing I think of is go buy WD-40. I don't know any other brand or company out there that is um, created, that has that type of product out there that um, you're going to use to, um, you know, to fix an issue like that. But that is, you know, they've created um, a moat around themselves to where when someone thinks of s fixing something that's squeaky or rusted or whatever, you think WD-40. So um, that is your one tip for today is when you're looking at whether a stock is great for long-term investing, you want to identify whether that company has a wide moat around it, meaning whether they have um, a competitive advantage or have they set them how have they set themselves apart from other companies in the industry that will help them maintain their market share and stay in the forefront of that industry and be the one that brings in the most profits because when you're an investor that's what you care about are they making money because if they're not making money they're not making you money, okay? So, um, thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying your weekend, and I will see you on the next broadcast. Um, if you are looking at some more, inf if you're wanting to find more information about trading and investing, be sure to stop over at my website. It's www.tilahocum.com. And if there, if you have any questions about trading and investing, please um, pop them down in the comment box or on my blog and I'll be sure to cover topics of concern for you guys and just to try to help get you educated on your investments and um, so that you're more comfortable with investing and making those first steps. All right, see you next time. Bye.